Hi, and welcome back to My Own Utopia. I am Kaylina, and today is, we are going to be uh, talking about my works in progress, my finished object. Well, I've already talked about my finished object, but I want to show it again to you guys. And a couple of other things. I have some news going on, so please stay tuned. And before we get into any of that, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and do not forget to hit the bell for all for notifications. And if you want to follow me on social media, I have a Facebook group and I have an Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. Email address and also my um, mailing address as well because I know the holidays is coming up. So I would just like to say welcome to all the subscribers, all the new subscribers that has been joining me recently. Welcome you guys and thank you. And I would also like to say welcome back to all the subscribers that has been here for a good minute. So let's go ahead and talk about my, what I have been working with. Uh, so I have two patterns that I'm working on right now. One of them is this. I've got started on the Frankenstein. I'm almost at the black part right up here. So it is a free pattern. I will try to have her linked down below. Um, but it's from Crochet Halloween Tote Bags. There is a Frankenstein, a Jack Lantern, and a cute little kitty. How adorable! So I decided to start on the Frankenstein first and like I said I did start messing up I know y'all are gonna see it <laughs> and I accidentally started going out and then straight up so I wasn't quite catching on like I've still had this I've been only crocheting for about two years now and I usually have to have a little stitch marker that tells me when was my last stitch. <laughs> if I don't have that, I start adding in a stitch and then it just starts going out and out and out and out and out and out. Instead of just going straight up. So I have to, this is one of my stitch markers I made last year. There it goes. My little Halloween owl. Isn't he cute? Okay, there we go. I thought it was fitting since I'm doing Halloween <laughs> little tote bags, but um, the only thing I have down here is a knitted counter. I took one of my stitch markers, my locking stitch markers, and I just locked it down at the bottom. So instead of me just constantly writing it down or anything of what row I am or I have to go back and recount all of them, I use this especially if my boys grab it or if my cat gets a hold of it it's not gonna mess it up like it would with a digital so that's what this is down here um, so I think I'm on the last row and there is a tutorial for these bags and I will try to remember to link that up above and down below so I'm almost at the black and I'm gonna be doing that that shouldn't take me too long I am using I love this yarn Super Soft Super Saver. The color name is Limelight. And then I'm going to be using I Love This Yarn Black. As you can tell, like, <laughs> but I got more up there I'm going to be using. So I'm just using up my scraps, whatever I have. The go ahead and finish it up so that's that one i've been working on the second oh and i'm using a 6.0 millimeter hook size j so she suggests in her pattern to use two um two yarns same color at the same time to make it more durable sitting there going okay I'm not gonna do that <laughs> it's too much of a pain in the tissue for me so I'm just gonna sit there and just use one use a bigger hook and it should be a decent size for my boys um, so far in my opinion it's not too gappy I mean I do crochet quite tightly but I've tried to loosen it up some in my opinion but I also feel like 
the size down here I really don't like. I like the size up here. So I might count across and see what the sizing is up here of how like how from um, up here how many stitches it is. And I might just add in the extra stitches just to make it a wee bit bigger for my boys. Because their toy, because I know they're going to use this for their toys. They're not going to just use it for trick-or-treating or anything else like that. So I know with their toys, they're a wee bit bigger and it might be more beneficial for them to be able to have it just a little bit bigger for their toys. So that's the only thing I might be doing a little bit different compared to what she has. Um, so I'm doing that pattern. I have notes written down to make sure I talk about everything. <laughs> Um, I am also working on a shawl and it's called the N-I-N-A shawl. It's a tutorial on YouTube. It's in a totally different language. So I have to put in, put up underneath it, the, um, text. So I have to read the text of what's going on and have to watch it. There is no written pattern anywhere so i cannot find a written pattern i have looked i have searched and i've just given up so now i am slowly watching the video and reading and everything else like that and i'm trying to write down the pattern and as soon as i get done doing that that way i can go through and start working on that pattern um I think it was on my last video I showed all the colors of the chakra of the chakra colors and uh, the way I'm going to be doing it. So I need to watch the pattern, read the pattern, have it written down and see where exactly I should be breaking up the colors so at least I'm not having the gaps so large that the shawl ends up being so huge. So I'm working on that one. I will have that tutorial linked up above and down below as well. So. That's the only two things I have been working on. Now the third thing is. Go ahead and start just getting into what has been going on. My thoughts and everything else like that. I found out that I have a, a festival, a county, or no, actually a state festival. So it's a South Carolina and a Georgia festival or a fair that happens and it's in like October and everything. So it's at the, it's not that far from now. <laughs> and you can actually put in entries. It's the only one I have found that you can put in crochet entries or any type of craft entries so if the COVID doesn't happen too bad where it shuts it down again I actually am considering possibly entering in and I hope that I at least get something I mean just if not it'll be an enjoyment for me to be able to just put it in and have fun and have an experience or whatever but it will be my absolute first one. I have a couple of ideas, but I need to call and make sure I completely understand all of the rules and everything else like that. When I get done figuring out the rules and figuring out what is or is not allowed and what I am going to be entering and everything, I will do a separate video or I'll put it probably on one of my uh, Wednesday videos and I'll talk about what exactly am I entering and I'll show everything that I'll be entering and everything else like that. And if after the whole thing, I'll say who won, who got first, second, and third, because hopefully I can go up there and take photos of the um, awesome work that probably everyone does around me and everything. So I want to show off all of those as well. So I'm thinking about possibly doing that. Okay, so into news. Sorry for all the stopping and going and everything. I'm trying to actually do this while they're awake because I have a decent amount of videos that I want to do and get put up because we have a birthday party coming up this weekend. So I'm trying to get all of it done, all the videos done, everything else like that so I can finally focus and clean the house and get the house ready for birthday party. Yay! 
<laughs> um, so a little bit of news. One is the Harvest Moon giveaway is going to be happening. Haas from Off Kilter Homestead has already put up his video announcing to all the participants that want to participate. And I will do a separate video going more in depth of the dates and the times and everything else like that. I'm not going to be one of the first videos that goes put, be put out like Christmas in July. I was the first one out and there was like so many complications with the fact that I lost, like I gained over like 300 or yeah, I was like up to like 300 plus subscribers and then it jumped down, lost all of them. And I think I got back a portion and then so many individuals lost their comments Comments were being deleted. Individuals' videos were, or their actual channels, were on red flagged and almost got deleted and taken away from them all because of it. So, I don't want to be the first one out the gate. I actually want to be kind of a wee bit late. And I'm going to be go ahead and give a fair warning to everybody that's wanting to participate or do it this year. Same thing goes. Please, fair warning. Do not sit there and paste and copy your comments onto the uh, videos. Make sure you listen. Give a unique uh, comment down below. Because if not, you're going to lose your chance of probably being uh, drawn for those channels and everything. And they might shut it down again. So just fair warning, make sure that they're rare and you are not rare, but unique comments. I mean, it is a smart way of working, but do keep that in mind. Keep remembering what just happened in Christmas and July's ferry and everything. So I'm just putting that warning out there. I'm going to be probably putting the warning on my video as soon as I put it up to, Hey, please be fair warned to not do that. So just keep that in your mind. I will be, I think it's like October 19th. I could be mistaken. That's when the videos are going to start pouring out. Or is it September 19th? I have to double look and put it down here below. Um, that's when the videos are going to start coming out and everything. So make sure you look for the hashtag Harvest Moon Giveaway 21. Um, if you want to see what... All the gifts were for the main grand prize winner. Go check out my videos, my very first videos. I'll have the um, playlist up above so you can go check it out and go see what type of gifts I received last year. Um, so I have a potiversary coming up. Yay! October 3rd was the first time I put up my video and I am so excited that I was able to start my journey down the YouTube and I absolutely adored it and I loved it. Yeah, there goes my wee one. And I, it has been one whole year since I have been doing this and it has grown so much. Never realized that it was going to grow so much and I was going to have so many lovelies like you guys coming and joining and everything else like that. So I have plans. Um, I've already got things moving. I want to do some giveaways. I want to do this as a giveaway in my potiversary as well. So, fair warning, I'm going to be doing a live, and it will be on October the 3rd. Make sure I'm writing this down correctly. Yeah, October the 3rd is when I'm going to be doing it. Um, if anybody wants that, wants to um, donate anything for the giveaways or, or for the giveaway for the Potiversary, I would be greatly appreciative. Just make sure you email me. Everything will be linked down below. And I, the only thing I'm asking is do not send me the gifts or the anything that you're wanting to give away. Make sure you email me. Please just give me all the information and everything else like that. If you don't want to do that, perfectly fine. No, nope, I'm not pushing anybody to do anything. But I will be setting up a video separately talking about the Potiversary 
and everything that's going to be coming along with that. I might be having my cousin join me so she can help me keep up with everything and everything else like that. So I cannot wait and I hope you guys join me on October the 3rd for my one year pot anniversary. I am so excited. Um, so the other news I have is I just got a sewing machine. <laughs> yeah, I know. I cannot believe I actually got it. My aunt was so sweet and so kind. I asked her if she had one that I can just borrow and she suggested that I can have the one that she bought years and years and years ago. Never been purchased or never been opened. Never been purchased. Yeah, she stole it. Uh, she never opened it and she never used it. So it was brand new and in the box. So I'm going to be, I thought about possibly making myself some project bags. I love the project bags that individuals make, but financially I cannot afford to sit there and just make everything. So I wanted to try my hand at it and everything else like that. And it seems extremely simple. So I went to Walmart. <laughs> Not only for birthday presents, Christmas presents, everything, excuse me, that's been coming through. So I got myself this one for the inner and for the drawstring. I'm just doing simple bags, drawstring, box bottoms so they can stand up and everything. But I want holiday. So I love nutcrackers. That is one thing I actually collect is uh, nutcrackers for Christmas. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I had to. And you cannot forget about Halloween. Christmas. Yes, I do like my red trucks. And I've already opened this up because Thanksgiving is actually my favorite holiday. Um, so it's, and the funny thing is, is it's my favorite holiday, but yet it is the hardest holiday to find anything in so when i saw this i that was the first thing that made me decide to just go ahead and grab it and start thinking about making little project bags so this will be my first project bag is it will be this one with the turkeys the thanksgiving on it and everything and i am so excited um, I've been just doing a whole bunch and bunch of research and trying to figure it out. So, I'm about to start on that journey. Okay, got it. Um, one more piece of news is that if I actually got interviewed with Just Another Stitch with Connie... I am so excited. We had a fun and a blast and everything else like that. And we did it on Monday. And if you want to go check it out, I will have that linked up above and down below. I wish I had enough time where I can actually do a little video announcing it. But unfortunately, I did not have enough time. But I am announcing it now. So if you want to go check it out. Go. So that will be linked up above. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and oh and one more thing before I forget I have what you're working on Wednesday is next Wednesday. So that will be on the 15th. So the 14th is the last day that you guys can join. Now for my new subscribers if you're wondering what in the tarnation am I talking about Every other Wednesday, I ask individuals on my Facebook group, what are you working on? It doesn't matter if it's a sewing project, a cross stitch, a um, crochet, knitted, whatever it is, whatever you were working on, to put down a photo in the pattern that you're working on. And I dedicate the Wednesday video 
to you guys. I show off all the wonderful work of what everyone is working on, everything else like that. If you want to join me, then head up over to my Facebook group and go check it out. And please go ahead and join. If you are not on Facebook and you just want to email me, that is perfectly fine, sweetheart. Go uh, to my email address. It will be linked down below. And just go ahead and send me your photo and your... Um, the name of the project that you are working on or if I can go anywhere to announce to individuals what it is that you're working on. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them down below. Do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell for all for notifications. And please hit put the comments down below. What do you think? What are you most excited for? Everything else like that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And until next time, have a good day. Bye, you guys.